A year after my failed attempt to further explore Death Valley, we planned to once more travel that fascinating landscape. But then Mother Nature rolled in and made already difficult routes impassable. So we changed our plans to parts of Arizona and Utah. However, Mother Nature was not quite done yet. And as in last year's event when mechanical problems wreaked havoc on my plans, so would they once more. But unlike previously, this time we would complete our planned route. I would start my adventure a few days earlier while on my way to Chula Vista, California to visit my parents. There I would meet up with Dan and Brenda, and together we would head around the Salton Sea to Camp and Box Canyon. The next morning we drove through Joshua Tree National Park, exiting via Old Dale Road, before heading toward the group meetup point in Hurricane, Utah. Once you are outside the park boundary, the road becomes much more challenging. This is territory for experienced drivers with off-road tires, high ground clearance, and four-wheel drive with a transfer case such that you can travel slowly over the prevalent rocks. BLM land or is it private land? This is BLM. Oh, it does say BLM. That's good to know. We'd refuel in Searchlight, then head to I-15 in Las Vegas. We'd follow that before turning off at a few miles from Hurricane. Meanwhile, Jack, Callie, and their three boys, and Adam and his wife Doreen, were also working their separate ways to Hurricane for our early evening meetup.
The next morning, gassed up and eager to hit the trail, we headed out of Hurricane for Colorado City. This is the start of one of three routes to Toro Weep, of which only two are passable during the winter months. Today we would drive along the 56-mile Clay Hole route. We had secured the backcountry permit for the only group campsite, which allowed a maximum of four vehicles and 11 people. The weather forecast was foreboding though. Low temps in the teens for the next several days, with high winds of 40 to 50 miles per hour gusting to 70. Well, at least we didn't see anything about snow in the forecast. Mom, I don't have a chewy toy. You don't have a chewy toy? I do. Oh. I don't have one either. Because let's see, uh, Dan's already convinced me I need to buy this AEV uh, uh, tire deflator, and he's also convinced me just about that I pretty much need to get some Fox Shock reservoirs. And, and and now you're trying to push on me a, a, a diesel Wrangler. This is the guy that was trying to encourage me to spend 15 grand on a new set of axles by saying, "Hey, those little what are those little twigs under your Jeep?" <laughs> How expensive it would be to get your Jeep towed out of an area? Yeah, that Good morning, sir. Good afternoon. The guy behind, well actually he's all the way in the back, has the actual permit, I hope. Are you you're coming in for the day? I uh, know we have a uh, camping permit uh, okay. for the group site. You have the group site? Yeah. Okay. Do you need to see it? I, 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 do, I probably I do. got it on my phone. Yeah, I do need to see it. Is anyway. it all right on the phone? Yeah. Can you read that? Is that just the sun off of your uh, windshield, Adam, or are you flashing your lights? I think that's the sun off of his windshield. I can see it. Thank you. Windshield. We good then? You're good. All right. Thank you very much. After a visit to Toro Weep Overlook, we headed back the short distance to find our campsite and set up camp. As it would turn out, we were the only ones who would spend the night.
pulling. He's still pulling. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody switched teams on you. Have you been to the Grand Canyon before? Uh, uh, I have. South Rim, uh, North so, Rim, okay. but not to Torley. Okay, so, yeah. so you know what it looks like when you get to the, the, the wider parts of the, I the bigger parts of the canyon. Yep. And, and have you been, Jack? No, yeah, since okay. I was a little kid, so I I don't I have a vague notion, oh, okay. of, vague memory of it. The only time I've been to Grand Canyon, it was at the like tourist over. spot. Yeah, same. Over. What's on deck for tomorrow? Tomorrow, um, originally we were supposed to go to Marble Canyon, mm -hmm. but that's a long ways over there, and I I, I don't think we want to tackle that tomorrow. Uh, and, and on top of that, I have a feeling some of the stuff we have planned is not going to be accessible, based on kind of what I'm hearing from a few people around. Mud. Yeah, serious mud. Okay. Kind of stuff you can't really drive through. And uh, so, uh, I'm recommending we go to Gunsight Point, which isn't very far from here. Uh, you go up to the Dozen, which is 62 miles, 63 miles from here. And I think it's only like Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day one. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day one of the spring adventure. Hello, is anybody there? Can you please switch up to seven? Why don't we switch up to seven, guys? I was just getting ready to say something. I'm trying to do a recording. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big hole. Slow down. Thanks, Mark. Um, thanks for taking one for the team there. Mark's on seven. All right, you you win, you beat us. Uh, but thanks for calling out the uh, the hole there. We heard it in the background of your mic. <laughs> I bet you did. 